Right. You should have copied down the first solution in red pen. Now I'm going to do the second one. So make sure you're paying attention to see if you got it right. So first step I suggest is do a table. Step one. So you're doing N, which is the term number. The term number. So we have the first term. It always starts at one. The second term, the third term, the fourth term, etc. We then have what the actual term is. So the first term for this one here is what? Eight. Eight. Then it goes five, two, two we don't know what the next one is. We then do the change in T over the change in N. In previous linear equations, you know this as the rise over run. Minus the first term over the... So it's negative 3. Very good pick up there. I did it. So you're used to a linear equation written like this. But now we've got it in terms of T and N. So the term is equal to the M times the N plus the C. So we need to figure out what the C is next, yeah? So this is step three. So what can we do to figure out the C? Did you remember? We can do what? Substitute, so what should I substitute in? What did you do? Yep, so you did this first one. Yep, so T equals 8, M equals, we just figured it out, negative 3, N equals what? 1, and we don't know the C yet. So then negative 3 times 1 is negative 3, and we want to bring that to the other side of the equals. Does everyone understand that? So if we're bringing negative 3 to the other side of the equals, what do we do? Yeah. Reverse its, um, we add 3 mm -hmm. to both sides of the equal. Yeah? So it becomes 11 equals C. I have the C, I have the M, so we're finished. Write the final statement. Therefore, T equals negative 3N plus 11. Four steps.